The following is a presentation of TFNN. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Every trading day, live at 10 a.m. Eastern. Call now, toll free at 877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate your growling a problem with us out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 454, Nasdaq's off 88, S&P's down 38, gold contract up 33 bucks at 15.17 an ounce. You get gold on an ABC structure up, folks. 15.85 is your price projection. Silver, silver's got quite a bit out here. 60 cents up, 17 dollars three cents an ounce. Light sweet crude slammed the other way down two bucks. 51 dollars 60 cents a barrel. And notes and bonds. I guess uh, we have some action in the bonds uh, yield today. And the whole market's going to be the story. There's no yes. doubt. But it's I'll tell you, right? this everywhere. notes and bonds, folks, okay, you know, this is a great time to be alive. I'll tell you that, man. <laughs> For many reasons. <laughs> the 10-year the note up 28 ticks, 130.21, 30-year. Check it out. 30 years up two full points plus 18 ticks at 163.18. I saw it in the newsletter. So two points, two points. He's got to be right. Yeah. I don't know. That, uh, they, yeah. They're going after all-time highs. My take is that they're going to bust them, actually, because uh, 1.31 is the 10-year uh, yield. And why don't all we pull it up? Is it, do you mind? Yeah. I mean, quite a chart, man, right? 1.59. 1.593, the low, and uh, quite a trend. We ended August. We ended July, excuse me, with a 2 and we just hit a 1.5 right. handle. And you're barreling into it. The, yes. pro the problem for the bond and note market, folks, you're barreling into it. This is not a, a tippet move. King dollar, King dollar down 157 ticks, trading 97,260. Euro is at 112. Yen is at 105 and a half. And the pound is out here at 121. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Kevin Hinks, TD Ameritrade, as we do each and every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And don't forget, folks, you, I'm telling you, man, you, you better have defined risk out here. <laughs> you know, and this is a great trading market, as Kevin, Tommy, and I were yeah. saying yesterday. I, my take is that these S&Ps are going to bounce. You know, they got slammed really good. And guess what? You need more energy. And my take is this energy is expended right now. It doesn't mean it's going to go lower in the future, but the bottom line, I think we'll get a good bounce here. So every trading day right here, 11 to 12 Eastern Standard Time, you want to understand option, option strategies, futures, great program. Kevin Hanks, what's going on? Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Tommy. You're exactly right on two things, Tom. Number one, these are great trading days. And number two... Uh, the the E-minis, as we speak right now, are bouncing. Yeah. They're only down uh, a little over 1.2 percent here. They, I mean, right around 940 your time, 840 our time. I mean, the the 30-year bond took another leg up, and the E-minis got hit hard, down 50 plus. Right. And now, you know, they're they're you know we're at 2841 on these E-minis. We're hanging in there. No. In no. terms. Of you know, we're down just over 5%, remember, from, from the highs now. I think this is a really busy trading area where uh, people are going to consume some some deltas here for sure. You know what's so cool, folks, we, we, we're all talking about here. This is a market that you can learn so much about markets, too. Because my, my take on this is that, see, when you come down that fast, if you come back, back down again, it's tired. It's like running a race, sure. you know, whether you're a runner or a swimmer or whatever it is. Guess what? It gets exhausted, man. So, you know, it is what it is. And trading-wise, though, it's amazing. And then as Kevin's talking about, when you're talking about the option market, and that's why it's so important to understand those strategies, it's really dynamite. <laughs> because... You know, intraday here, these can get skewed a little, right? I mean, you know, you're down 50 bucks, and then... Ten minutes later, you're only down 30 in E-minis. Sure. Like, that, I mean, guys, that's some leverage, at, man. <laughs> right. What, what's not really making me overly concerned about this market, and what I mean it's not making me overly concerned means this is your run-of-the-mill 5 to 7% correction right. in this market. Is The VIX is below 22 right now. Yeah. That should be higher if, if, the, if the fear – that some people think is in this market was really there, the VIX would be higher. The risk off assets, now, the bonds are in their own world. Make no mistake. Yeah. I imagine the volatility in the bond market is, uh, is crazy. But the, the overall S&P 500, 
you know, sitting right around 22 in the VIX, that, that's a good, healthy level, especially for early August. But it's not anything that's going to – it's not 40 or 50. So there's not overall fear in this market. And, you know, remember at the end of the day, Jerome Powell's probably making a new decision on interest rates. And that new decision, it's not up. It's lower, and lower interest rates make stocks more attractive. So eventually, the fundamentals will come back into this market, and people will start nibbling on stocks here. When that will happen, well, we'll see. That's the, that's the million-dollar question. Yeah, no, there's no doubt. And you know what's so intriguing, Kevin? I was, I was thinking yesterday, and I was talking about it on the air, actually, is that the, the market itself is forcing, meaning the bond market, just in general, is almost forcing the rates down because it's like, oh my yeah. God. It is, I mean, they just keep buying, buying, buying. It's like, okay, well, we've already moved that level. And I mean, I understand the difference in, you know, the Fed fund future. That has to do, folks, with commercial loans, not the housing market. But, you know, the 10 year has to do with the housing market, which is a monster market. Yes. You know what I mean? So it's right. like. And, and, and you saw the mortgage apps this morning, Tom. Yes. 12% increase in refinance right so right. there's the overall effect of what of what interest rates are doing you know those numbers should get firm and they are if you thought it was good at two percent if you thought it was good at 1.7 how about 1.5 man yeah <laughs> right and i think tommy you, you you just hit a good number there i think 1.5 percent on the 10-year is something that the next kind of a psychological number two was a big psychological number but you know the world has continued to evolve here and it looks like we're heading towards one and a half and then some people will make some more decisions yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's that's a, it's a tough one man the uh hey so disney you know it looks like yeah. disney has some problems with their you know the star wars deal I and mean, it's rejected lower price here started out at 132 but you're 134.60 but I, I yeah, guess I, you know what? Here's what here's my take on Disney. There was never a quarter where they were able to lump every single issue and put it out there. And I think the fact that they came out with this price of twelve ninety nine yeah. for their bundle of all their services, I think that should scare the heck out of Netflix. I because think it, yeah. the, the the portfolio that Disney has and what they can offer in terms of Hulu. Disney Plus, ESPN. I mean, this looks like they are setting themselves up to be the winner. Oh, that's amazing. You're going to get ESPN too? Yeah. Oh, you ESPN know what? ESPN Plus oh. is part of that. Oh, those cable companies are toast. Oh, my God, because ESPN yeah. was. Wow, man. Yeah. That's amazing. So, ESPN Plus, yeah. Disney so Plus. Yeah. In terms of Disney stock, sure, this was an expensive merger with Fox. And yeah. it looks like some of the Fox assets didn't make as much money as they thought. Yeah. And you know what happens when companies get taken over. They get some some paralysis in some of their growth and profitability, but Disney's going to absorb all these units and make them better. I think Disney is an extremely attractive stock going forward that, that, once the dust settles on this on all the, the, the change that they're making to that company. Yeah, direct competitor right away. Now, Hulu, I believe, is ad-supported, uh, or they have ads in there, so they get maybe the best of both. Um or how that did. either way amazing yeah. man direct competitor right out of the gate you, it, if not even offering if more i value. remember the breakdown of cables they would get the cables were paying more money for espn than the 13 dollars altogether it was eight nine dollars that was the number one part of your bill was the espn yeah, yeah. unbelievable yep. folks right here 45 minutes from now outstanding program kevin s and p's are only down 28 it's a beautiful thing brother <laughs> Have a great day, guys. See you in 45 minutes. Thanks, Kevin. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, TAS understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the TAS Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. 
Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's down 338. You get the Nasdaq down 48. S&Ps are down 24. S&Ps are up 10 points, I think, since we started talking to is Kevin Isn't that a trip? Um, so and that? the low, I think, is 28.22. So we're now 30 points off of the low. Right. Uh, yes, 28.23 is the low. So we're about 30 points, more than a full percent. And, um, you know, I was just thinking about when we're talking about bounces, right, the yeah. Dow. What was the low in the Dow? I think it was it about 25,000. Yeah. Because I was remarking how it was crazy that we jumped all the way to 26,000. Um, and what you, what you might not have got here, when you were doing the update, it, it might was have been even late. It was it earlier, was, right? It was, yeah, because right, it's right. the low that I'm talking about when right. the announcement of China being labeled the manipulator okay, came right. out, right. right afterwards. Right. Dow goes down to about 25,000. By the you open, you know, Tuesday, yep. we were at about 26,000. And now we're about 300 points off there. I love some it. bounces. You get deviant markets. They're a beautiful thing. bounces in the Dow. Totally. Let's go to our man Jim in Palm Harbor. What's going on, brother? Hey, how you guys doing today? We're Good doing morning, great. Jim. Yourself? Oh, I'm doing wonderful. Awesome. Good, man. Great to hear from you, man. Yeah, I'm watching every day. You know, I don't don't think I've gone anywhere. I'm that's I'm that's that's we we guys. appreciate that. We want to hear that voice, though. You know, he's so, always excited to hear from you, Jim. Well, you I know, it's so too, funny. This is what ended up happening. I'm doing the show yesterday, right? I'm seeing, and you know, we have you on the promo, right? I'm saying to myself, I haven't heard this voice for a while, man. There you go. <laughs> and I, I, I was hoping you still were. I figured you were. But anyway, you know, it, it's funny, yeah. folks. When you do a show like this, you have mental calisthenics, right? I mean, you know, even it's just it, that it is what it there is. You, you know what I mean? So, so what are we going to yeah. look at today? I get a lot of comments on my t East Tennessee hillbilly accent. I, I, like, I freaking love it, man. I think it's totally. awesome, man. Yeah, totally. Man. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, well, I was calling because I, I finally bought gold and uh, gold miners. I had never bought any gold because I wasn't sure about how it really operates. But I, a couple of weeks ago, I bought uh, GDX and GLD. Okay. And I'm up uh, 6% and 5%. Uh, GDX first, GLD second. But uh, so 
so I'm doing okay. I'm just curious. Uh, uh, I never know. I don't know much about gold and uh, miners and versus just the gold itself and everything. So okay. I'm just curious what you can tell me about it. Yeah, this is a, that's a great question. Yeah. So the first thing I got to tell you is that it's great when it's going up, Jim, and it's hell in a handbag when they're going down. So this isn't, mm -hmm. I, you're used to, you know, like more stable equities, I'd say, you know, for what you're calling. So that's really important to understand because it's, it's like, yeah, we've been gangbusters right now, but I really want you to wrap your head around that in, in both cases, my take is that gold, gold mining equities are tradable and you better make sure that when they get extended, that you back down off of them and take money off the table. Because I've seen, so picture, I've had that gold report so long, I have actually seen people make a lot of money, and I've seen people make have the whole run and make no money because they think that gold's gonna continue to go up and up and up forever. forever. So it's not like yeah. buying like a, uh, you know, uh, a Facebook or an Amazon. Yeah. It's just not. It's a commodity. Okay. Yeah, yeah. If you said you buy Amazon in 10 years, you're going to be golden no matter what. Yes. But that, where was gold at 1900? Just to read what you're saying. And then you hung out at 12. For, for exactly. We're talking about exactly. four, five, six years exactly. later. So the first thing is train yourself that it's a tradable vehicle. So that being said, in it's both cases. 20 it, to 30 in the GDX. Exactly. Oh so. So what we have here, though, in the GDX, we have an ABC structure on the way up. So your, your B point here is uh, 2841. Your A is uh, 2453. What's, what's that one? Almost $4. $4. 2450 to 2850. Okay. So right. that gives you, like, we're getting close to... About 30. We just 30, hit. And we just hit 30. Yeah. Okay. So, so now what you have is that you, you've hit a price projection. Now, I suspect that what, what we're going to have is this, is that, we'll pull this back a bit. 2016 is what these guys are going after right now. So the 2016 high is 31.79. Okay. So we're getting close to that. You know, so what, and you'll hear it here too, I mean, because I own enough of this right now that uh, as it gets up to this level, um, and if the volume starts dying, and now I'm going to go to the gold contract because the gold contract is on an ABC structure on the way up, a confirmed one. I expect we're going to get it hit. It's approximately $1,580 to $1,585. That's your price projection. So the way that I, I look at that is that, you know, I'm going to get as close to that as possible. And then what you'll see is that you're going to see... If this is going to pull back at that point, you're going to see the volume die in the vine. It's going to go test it, it's going to die in the vine, and then simultaneously, what I'd be watching is I watch those bonds, and they're going to watch the dollar. You see what I'm saying? Because if you can put like those vehicles together, it's helpful bringing the probability up that I think it's time to take some money off the table. And then what you can't do is say, oh, it just went $50 higher. And guess what? Because I can tell you this. We got in gold, the first run, I got in gold at $282, and we get out at $1,750. And guess what? Yeah, it did go a couple hundred dollars more, but guess what? The money was already made, and then it got destroyed. Do you know what I mean? So you're never going to get, you know, the, the full extent because gold is, it extends itself on the way up and extends itself on the way down. Um, on the GLD, that... That price projection probably is, let's see, well, let me do it this way first. First, I want to see. Now, see, the GLD, what you have to also do is, because I believe it's seven-tenths of one percent, no, it's four-tenths of one percent fees every year. So, well, this is intense, man. The GLD broke, too. Yeah, you know, what I mean by this, Jim, the GLD broke topside, the consolidation. That's saying the GLD also wants to go up to 174. And right now, you're at 142. I guess the, 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 the biggest thing here is that how we get into these higher prices, then, then you got to figure out, okay, am I going to take a pullback? The, the problem, now I've taken both. I've taken pullbacks and not taken pullbacks. The problem with taking a pullback is you never know how long it's going to pull back. <laughs> just, we just went from 11 <laughs> totally. change to 1,500 and totally. totally. percentage-wise, 35%, you know. something you know. crazy. So, um, I can tell you this, what you will see is that you're going to see some of these equities go exponential because when you get up to a price of like 1500 these 
equities, these gold equities, really stopped making money hand over fist. You know, because of the and a, the aspect of what does it cost them to take gold out of the ground? A lot of them are like twelve, twelve fifty. So fifteen hundred is a different ball game. Sure. So just, you know, mm -hmm. so my advice is keep keep a tight leash on it. That's what it really comes down to. Do you know what I mean? Right. Okay. Well, um, it's been a, it's been fun to watch it. I, like I said, I've never bought any gold before, and I I really I know it can be a little bit risky, but it looks like. Uh, with all that's going on in the world and all the negativity and uh, you know what might happen in Hong Kong and all these different negatives that uh, a lot of people are buying gold. I, I just saw where China bought 10 tons of gold in last just month. the China, last month or something. They, I would, without seeming too bullish, my take is that, yeah, we're actually going to the highs. So I'd hang tough for a while. Do you know what I mean? Because, because, and it has to do with those notes and bonds. If it's costing people money to put money in the bank, you know, that is a fundamental real good reason. Thanks, Thanks so Jim. much, Jim. Uh -huh. Take care, man. Thanks. Thank Stay right there, Tommy and I come right back. Hi folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter, risk free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find market insights under trading newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates to my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow right now is uh, down. Sorry, I'm jumping around. That's all right. All Dow's down 374. Uh, oil. Oil, that's right. So a little bit of a surprise here. We have a build of 2.3 million barrels. Estimate was for a decline of 2.7. We'll jump back to those numbers in a moment. But let's jump over. Where are we at? 
boom, market going down, man. That would, you know, we were looking for a draw. Right. We have a surplus. The API was a draw last night. Big 2. supply. 2.5. Okay. So yeah. we got a surplus in EIA. And uh, boom, we might see a 50 handle on oil, which is remarkable, man. You back this up. I said Tuesday morning, 55 were above. We're about to be below 51. That's a $4 move in just over 24 hours. And the volatility in this market. Um, and in particular, that oil market, you can get a 2 or $3 move today. Oh, yeah. That's... With, with a big surprise like that, right. coming off that with everything right. else happening, and just to wrap up some of those numbers, look at the gas. Gas, a build of 4.4 estimate was a decline of 1.2. Less expensive gasoline. I, Unleaded I'm number two. It. Bring it on. Um, distillates 1.5. Estimate was 450. And it looks like uh, Pad 3 was a big part of that, right? 5.5 million barrel because Cushing actually had a decline. And um, they got refinery crude inputs. Refineries going up, even with gasoline being out there. Maybe that's part of the contribution in terms of refinery crude inputs, refinery production. We'll see what happens. Action all over the place. You gotta love it. Yeah. Let's go to our man, Carlos. Carlos, what's going on, brother? Hey, Tom. Good. How are you, Tommy? Good morning, Carlos. Doing great, man. Yourself? I'm doing very well, thank you. That's thank awesome. Thank you very much for asking. Good. That's good yes. news. Yes, um, and everything is uh, working very good with uh, this position I have in Nugget and health and money. It's always nice. Yeah. Yes. So. If we talk, he wants to take a look at Nugget. So Nugget, folks, is the Direction Daily Gold Miners Bull, three times levered um, ETF. Uh, this is trading $40.34. So I know you've done these, you've traded these a lot. Um, this is quite a run. <laughs> yes, and that's one of my concerns. Uh, Tom, I was looking at a weekend chart. Yeah. And I, I see some uh, strong resistance uh, around... Uh, uh, let's say, um, chart. Uh, I, I have a sell position on uh, 45, near 45. 45, 45. Okay. But I don't know if I'm, um, my expectations are a little higher. So I need your opinion and see what I can do if I can cut this lower so I can cash some of my gain. Yeah, so like today, okay, so today we've hit 41.90. You got an ABC up. So the real question is, ABC up on this one is 24. So let's just call it 12. Okay, let's get, well, call it 11 to okay. stay conservative, which is... That gets us to 39. Right where we are. Yeah. See, right now, the, Carlos, is that your ABC structure was, is approximately 40. Okay, we hit 41.90 on this particular okay. vehicle right here. So... Go ahead. Oh, no, I was just going to point out that it was just at 28. We just went to 42. That's exactly a 50% run yeah. in, in five yeah. days. Five days, 50%. Right. Yes. So what I would do, I mean, you know, just as even I would take a look at this by the end of today and uh, maybe not stay in this. For the same reason you say the market yeah. could have a pull. That's not very good. Yeah. So because also, and, and Carlos knows this, but I want to explain this to everyone else, folks. What happens with the levered ETF is that you have to be totally aware that when you're at 40.22, which we are, and let's say that just tomorrow you get a pullback in gold, right? Well, this here can open down seven points in a heartbeat. Sure. And because you got to remember something, it's 300 off a higher number. Right. And so that is what's crucial when these things go up, yeah. to really get your head wrapped around that. See, it's really cool when, when these things are down at 12 or 13, and 15, they take a longer time to move. When they're up at 40, right. you, you got to remember, it's a percentage of the number. And that's a triple percentage. Yes, so exactly. So you really yeah. start to, you yeah. know, you move up 5%, right? Right. But then when you move back down 5%, you're going to be back below where you started from. Exactly. Okay, so it's like you move up 5, that's you move right. down 5. When you multiply the 5 times 3, as in right. you, you know it's a 15% move off yep. a bigger number, you actually end up below where you're at. So that's why All you right. can really, when it has that huge pullback off higher prices, triple leverage vehicle. So you just yeah. got to be aware of that. And it can benefit you on the same way, though, because if it keeps going, oh, it, it, it's it, now a 5% on the no, same no, way. No, no, it can. When you, know, you it, do it, get that pullback. It can pullback. open up 10 tomorrow. What right. I would do, Carlos, is this. I, you know, that trades off the GDX. When Jim was talking about the GDX, right? I'd see where this GDX closed out. Now, if the GDX closed out right where we were t right now, only up 81 cents, I'd sell the nugget. The reason being yeah. is that 
you know, that is, you know, saying, okay, the GDX tomorrow could get down to 28 in a heartbeat, which... What, the lowest yeah. session, right? Never right, good, you know what I mean? Yeah. But if the GDX now starts climbing up and you're at the highs of the session, well, then I wouldn't sell it, you know? Yeah. You know. Because of the fact that... Well, you know, I mean, it, it, it's a good run, and what ends up happening also very is that run. if... Yeah, very good run, and I remember when I called you, it was making lows, and you had a, a, a good opinion about buying at the time, so I, was, I went heavy on it, and uh, this time I think it's, it's time for me to take some money out. Yes, can't and, go wrong uh, with a uh, move like that. Time, man. I want to make a comment about Tommy. Tommy, uh, um, I think... Over the uh, time you've been with uh, TFN, uh, you've been you've been so much, so much better and improving every single day. I'm very proud of you, and I think your dad is very proud of you too. Carlos, I appreciate it, man. You're too nice. Thank you. Uh, I want to thank you for everything you've done, and keep keep the good work done. You're awesome. No, thank you. And and we thank appreciate you for calling in. And and it's the truth. And I because you I, add value and, and tremendously. But I get that. I get that feedback that you're doing an amazing job. Listen to you guys. Thank you. I do. No, big time. It's it's freaking awesome. I know. I love and the callers, man. Yeah, call us. Yeah, you add yeah, something every time. Very proud of a very young uh, person like you doing such a great work. Thank you. You're awesome, man. Thanks, Carlos. Thank Appreciate it, man. And Thanks. I want to take more of your time, guys. Oh, you're Enjoy never taking our time. <laughs> we love you it. Are you kidding me, man? That ain't even close. <laughs> Have a great one, Carlos. Thank you so much. Have a good one, Carlos. Thank you so much Thanks, for man. everything, guys. You too. And uh, we'll talk to you later. Awesome. Yes, take sir. Enjoy your day. Bye. Yeah. Thanks, Carlos. Oh, so oil. Let's go back to yeah, oil for right. a second. Where are we at? All right, 51. Stabilized off that first move. These are five-minute bars we're looking at, but quite a drop, man. 52.30, and we're down to, uh, is that a dollar? That's a dollar. Man, this chart is so big yeah. that that chart didn't look dramatic, and that is 52.30 down to 51.15. There you go. My goodness. Okay, we're three for three. Let's go to our man Frank in Gloucester. Frank, what's going on, brother? Hey, how are you down there? <laughs> we're good, man. Yourself? Hey, Frank. <laughs> Good, very good, very good. It's been a beautiful summer up here in New England. Awesome. Oh, I bet. Awesome. All those rocks yep. overlooking that water right there. I'm going to get oh. a little Cape Cod action oh, in a week and a yeah, half. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the water's warm up here. Is it? Uh, yeah, it's been uh, creeping up on 70 degrees in Gloucester, that, which is amazing. Oh, no, that, that is. That, that, for in Gloucester early August. folks, that's... Uh, Really warm. That Atlantic. They got all those nice lobster traps off there. there. Go. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah. So the, the fish has been great. So uh, let's take a look at Royal Gold because you know I'm trying to figure out uh, an ABC pattern for this on the way up, and it's a little uh, looks a little long. Yeah, it's it's all up. A to B. So what we're gonna do, do Frank? We, we'll come right back with you, right? But we got we got Teddy Keg stack in just the next oh, segment. Sure. But just stay right there, all right? We're just going to take yep, Teddy and yep. we'll come right back to you. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. 
Stay informed each day you trade and get the competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow, Dow's down 302. Nasdaq's up 20. S&Ps are up 15 and a half. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Teddy Kegstad, as we do each and every Wednesday at 40 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, you can catch up with Teddy every trading day at forex-trading-unlocked.com. That's forex-trading-unlocked.com. Teddy Kegstad, what's going on? I mean, everything's going on in your business, man. In our <laughs> business, in the currency business. Every business right now. Where are all these black swans? Where, where are we flying to, man? Well, we had the central bank reactions. Remember, we had two weeks of, Fed, or of central bank uh, meetings that crescendo last week with our U.S. Fed cutting the rate a quarter point. Um, I think that your viewers should definitely... Uh, who anyone that's definitely trading the currencies should take into uh, account that when they did cut the quarter point, uh, the expectations were upwards of a half a point for the end of the year. And they made a remark after they cut the rates that they are done. You know, so that's a variable I think that all your currency traders need to take into account. And we'll get into that in a couple of minutes why that's important. So, uh, what we had today, the uh, Royal Bank of New Zealand uh, cut the rate. Uh, the uh, Royal Bank of Australia did not cut the rate. And that was a surprise to me because after the Fed started, the, this was, you know, we had two weeks of meetings. Nobody did anything. They were hanging on the Fed. Yes. The Fed cut the rate, and then we started to see a little bit of uh, QE stuff come out of, the, of, of Europe. And now we've had the two central banks that have, uh, one's made a, uh, a cut and one has not. I'm surprised that the Australian bank did not, but I think that's because of what the Chinese did with the yuan over the past couple of days, um, which you know how they they fix everything with their currency, but that has a big impact on the Australian and the New Zealand dollar. Okay, okay, it's it's been quite a you know I mean currencies. I mean you've been in this market for a long time. What, what I've found more than anything is that when you get fast currency moves, man, it can dislocate a lot of markets, man. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. And that's something that we don't have in certain markets. Like right now, the pound, in the wake of all this stuff that's happened, the pound has been going basically sideways since the Fed meeting last week, where other currencies have started to move around and they either continued to break or they bounced. Um, the pound, ironically, hasn't moved. Now, the one thing I think that you guys need to uh, look at is the yen. Okay. Uh, the US dollar yen, now, this is what's key. Our Federal Reserve said they're not cutting rates again for a while. It's off the table. Don't even think about it, you know? So we know that's gone for the next few meetings. The Bank of Japan, over two weeks ago, before all this started, said, we're not doing anything. We don't care what central bank does, whatever. We're not doing a thing. We're not budging. We're not reacting. We're not doing a thing. So as a, as a interest rate variable for all the currency crosses out there, what do we have? We have transparency in the U.S. dollar yen. They're not touching the interest rates. So that will not affect that trade for the next uh, 
couple months. So I think that's kind of going to help the yen stay strong and the dollar weak against that, you know, in that currency relationship, no matter what the dollar does. Yeah, it looks like that yen wants to go to 99, man. I mean, you break that 104 and there's not much there to 99. Right. I think any rally is a rally to sell. In the end, I'd be very careful buying that market. I would look for opportunities to sell it. Yeah. Now, um, talk to us about, I know you, 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 you're going to have a digital book on Amazon. Is that right? Yes. Uh, I have the uh, book, High Probable Japanese Candlestick Patterns, which I wrote over, a little over three years ago. And for the next five days, anyone that goes on Amazon or you can go on my website and at the bottom of the home page, there's a picture of the book. You can click on that and they'll get access to the page on Amazon. And you can download the Kindle version um, for free for the next oh, five cool. days. Okay, so let's look at Anybody? this. High Probable Japanese Candle Patterns. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, for the 21st century trader. I like it, man. <laughs> yeah, and it's good for Forex markets, futures markets, options traders. You know, I show how you can be, for instance, an equity trader or have a trade ETFs and how you can look at a currency move or a bond move. And, you know, especially like people who trade the oil ETFs. You, if you get a candlestick pattern in the oil futures markets, you can trade that move, you know, versus not tra taking the leverage risk in the futures markets. And, you know, sure. things like that. Pretty so. cool. So right there, read for free. You saw it, folks. I just clicked on the link. You can visit forex-trading-unlock.com. You just scroll down. That's pretty cool. I haven't seen... Uh, or they can wait a week and they can pay full price for the paperback. That's what I see. If you're really a paperback <laughs> fan, $44.46, and they'll get it to you, Amazon, or free on the online version. That's a cool way of doing it, It man. is. I yeah. haven't seen that. Yeah. yeah. Totally. Well, Amazon, they got all corners of the market. They man. do, they man. Got it all. They're a good partner. They've been very good to me when it comes to this book so far. I'm very happy with them. That's awesome, man. I like the cover, too, man. Yeah. That's, that's... And this is a way to give back to the viewers. Like, I'm very happy that I've gotten a lot of followers from you guys. And I, you know, it's all the, anyone that follows me through LinkedIn or StockTwits or, or sees your videos or any of the webinars I do, they're the only ones that know about this promotion right now. So otherwise, people got to pay for it. Cool. Pretty cool. Okay, so let's go back to, so that's right on this website, folks, right down the very bottom. Yep. Hit the link. You're going to be right there. Yeah. And then if we get back to the, the markets for a second, so do you think that the um, the dollar from this point is going to weaken out, or do you think the bulls and bears are still fighting over it here? Uh, you know what? I think that it's going to be very tough to weaken the dollar right now, um, especially because like, for instance, we spoke about the yen. The yen has been strong no matter what, while the dollar has been strong against other currencies. Okay. Uh, that the pound, because of what's going on with Brexit and the new uh, leadership, I think that they're starting to diverge from the, the, the index, meaning they're flat versus the dollar. Yeah. Um, so I think that the dollar does have a chance to get a little bit of weakness, um, but not much. I think that the bull is there. It just really, it's hard to... Even no matter whether our president or a Fed wants to have a lower dollar, it's not happening unless we have some major, major strength in other currencies. But with their Fed action, with their central bank actions to come, um, I, I see that they're, it's just going to balance out. So the bulls are going to yeah. be pretty much there. So what Teddy's saying there, folks, yeah, it can be a run to the bottom, but even a run to the bottom, that the dollar is going to be the strongest of all the fiat currencies as we right. go to lower price, right? Yeah. 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 Except for the yen. I think that the yen has oh. a good shot of being a bull, yeah. you know. Um, and then if, God forbid, they come up with a Brexit something or other and even some positive numbers in the U.K., maybe get a bounce in the pound. But if you look at the euro, they came out. This is something also. Any euro, U.S. dollar trader, their production numbers were horrible a couple of weeks ago. They came out with, an, with their uh, another production orders uh, number this morning, and it was the, just devastating. Absolutely devastating. Yet, so there's not going to be any I mean, it, yeah, coming anytime soon. Right. And that's interesting, though. I mean, because it's like you got deviance, meaning the production numbers are down, but yet the euro didn't get smoked. You know, I mean, I know right. it's, that's not strong, but, you know, right. that's something that is kind of intriguing in itself. And then, yeah. of course, sure. you know, it, it, I mean, gold, you know, basically people are believing. <laughs> They're believing, man. <laughs> Uh, it's strong right now. It's a bull. It's it's a bull. There's no doubt about that. Absolutely. So Absolutely. And that's another reason I think the dollar is going to remain strong. Is as long as gold is strong, it's hard to break the dollar. You know. Yeah, that's interesting, man. Because if the dollar does break, gold will really go to the moon. You know. Sure. It, I mean, it's it's intriguing that the gold can be so strong with the dollar strong. Sure. You know. I mean. Oil, oil is getting toasted, man. We got plenty of oil, that's for sure. It's going to be inexpensive uh, gasoline uh, coming like this it. weekend. Two dollar yeah. gas, bring it on. Totally. Right. <laughs> Listen, folks.
The way you see Teddy every trading day, you go to forex-trading-unlock.com. It's forex-trading-unlock. Don't forget, go right down to the very end, check out his book. Teddy, you have a great week, safe week. Always a pleasure, man. Look forward Thanks, to speaking Tom. next Thanks, week. Tommy. Thanks, Tommy. Thanks, Thank Thank you, man. Next week. Stay Take right care. there, folks. Coming back with Frank from Gloucester. We're going to be talking Royal Gold. Come right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, self African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the Gold Report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. We get our man Frank from Gloucester. We are talking royal gold. And, you know, we had another call, folks. Uh, so we're three for three on gold. We're actually four for four. We couldn't take the last one because we got our man Tom from Plymouth. Now, the good news is that he wanted dust. So we get three. Which yeah. is the triple bear. Maybe exactly. he's looking to buy that. that we needed that. Thank you, Tom. We needed <laughs> that call, man. So, Frankie, um, you know, there's a couple of different ways to do this. This is a tough one, meaning on the ABC structure and the way up. Um, so the way I looked at this, first is that it had like a, a 158 to 175 handle and, and and the reason is this is that when it broke out of its consolidation this was the first one to break out of the consolidation right normally what you do you take yep. the top of that consolidation which is a hundred dollars and 84 cents right and you take the bottom yep. which is 25 and you know you add on 75 bucks there's 175 right so then sure. if we get closer i mean that sounded insane at the time but <laughs> guess what you know, it's already gone up 25 Insane bucks. things have happened. Yeah. So then when you get closer, what ends up happening is that, let's put this on three years. 
Yeah. And then I gotta put it on a daily. I put it on a, I'm gonna put it on a year daily. When you get closer, oops. What ends up happening, I gotta do this quick, sorry about this. There we go. When we get closer, you know, what ends up happening is that, okay, was the ABC like right here on the daily, which is, uh, what is that, the, what the, where's the date there? I can't see the that date. That is the 15th of July. 15th of July, and then we took it out on the, I can't see. 17th. On the July. 17th. And if that's the case, then you got, you know, your B point is 111, your A there is 91, so you get 20 bucks, which gets you to 128. You know what I mean? Okay. It's the strongest yeah. gold stock there is, though. There's no doubt about that. So, you know, but as to a clean ABC, it's really not there. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know. I could see that. That's why I called you. Yeah. It's just a rocket ship, man. <laughs> hey, man, okay. it's always a pleasure. Great hearing from you, Frank. Tight. Thanks, Frank. Thank you, sir. Stay Bye -bye. right there, folks. Fast market coming up next. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. Yeah, go get them, folks.